I think just winning and wanting to be the best every day, no matter what you do or who you play against, just having the mindset of wanting to beat your opponent. Growing up, I think I always wanted to be a professional footballer. I'm following a life ambition. It's all I knew, so I kind of just went along with it. And then before you know it, you do well at it and it's your job. The biggest hurdle I've had to jump over has been all the injuries I've had. Obviously, joining a new team, you just want it to go smoothly. And the first six months was, I'd say, very low because obviously I had injury, then I had a step back from that injury. Family and friends around me have helped keep my ambitions high. I'm lucky because obviously now I've moved back to London, I have my family close. So I have them to go back to every day. Obviously my brother's local as well. So having them close to me and close friends and obviously the support at Chelsea has been good since I've come. Obviously from when we were young, my dad would coach us on a one-to-one -one basis and he has high standards. So yeah, I think that helped us make sure we better ourselves. And I think just winning and wanting to be the best every day no matter what you do or who you play against, just having the mindset of wanting to beat your opponent. Those who are young and obviously wanting to play first team football will see that I'm young and I'm playing. Yeah, I just hope to inspire the next generation. I think the biggest difference between those who succeed and fail at this level is down to hard work and application. Always work hard, I'd say smile throughout the journey and enjoy it because it goes fast.